Hello and welcome to another episode of Quasi's Corner with me, Quasi. Today we are going to be touching on three amazing snares from Repercussion, based up in Glastonbury. Old snares, like old. Up next. Okay, so Repercussion um, is run by Andrew Johnson, um, who's based up in Glastonbury Tour. Incidentally, is near the place of uh, our cameraman's origin. So he got really excited, really excited, didn't you? Didn't you? Yeah, you did. As well as other instruments, but snares predominantly that are made of stave shell construction. Um, they are made of solid pieces of wood, but are not bent, but are allowed to sit. And they are tested to find the fundamental note of each drum. Basically, some of them are made from 5,000 year old wood, some of them are made of uh, other types of wood, all of which have been reclaimed and repurposed. So they hit a certain price bracket just because of the care that is taken into making these snares and of the rarity of the wood itself. So we're going to see a couple of these up next. So first off, we have um, the little brother of the series, and this is called Weldon Series. So it's a 14 by five and a half drum. Of this series, only one snare was made. <laughs> it's a very unique stave build made from English walnut. It came from the garden of journalist and author Faye Weldon, who lived in Pilton. Pilton is the location of the Glastonbury Festival. You got a piece of history there. You want a piece of basically Glastonbury. <laughs> this is this is the snare. Snappy, powerful, cranked up. It's got a fat sound, crank it low, which which we did. Again, fat sound. Makes you want to smack it. I'd probably change the head if I was to have uh, something like this. But uh, trust me, straight out of the box, you can smack the crap out of this thing. This is very, <laughs> and it keeps its tone. That's the thing. Very nice snare to play, um, very responsive. And uh, again with the trick throw off, triple flange hoops, top and bottom, keep it breathing. And just a very nice little foray into the world of stave, the world of uh, repercussion stave as it were. So the next up we have uh, the Scrumpy Series Snare. That's right, usually you'd associate that with cider. Funny enough, this has been made from an old cider press that was found lying in a barn that was made and has been dated back to 1861. So this is old, old, old wood. It consists of two square beams. The top beam of the press was traditionally elm and the bottom was oak and it was called summer and winter beams respectively. It's, it's a really old school snare. Very, very fat sound. As you can see, I've only got a control sound on here. There's no muffling. It's done, it's done its own muffling. <laughs> Easily old school funk. One of the fattest sounding snares I've ever played. Definitely, she got some booty on her, you know what I'm saying? Basically 1861, uh, very unique. Fat tone, again, with the pure sound wires and the trick throw off, diacos hoops, you've got a triple flange, um, which allows it to breathe a little. Obviously you don't just have to smack the hell out of it like I did, but I felt that that's, that's you know, I've got a lot of snares at home. I would feel that if I had this one, it would it would be just for smacking the crap out of it. Ah, 1861, styly. It's a, it's a joy, it's a joy to play, it's a joy to play. 
you know, you got a lot of snares out there, snare makers, they make snares and it just gets lost in translation. It can't take what it's actually built for. This is built for a plethora of things and I'm sure it can take it all, like, honestly. Quiet snare, quiet snare. So lastly, we have this amazing snare right here. It's the from the Subterranean series. It's made of bog oak. Bog oak comes from a bog, basically. And for those of you who are obviously not from England and don't know what a bog is, it's a bog is, you know, how do you explain bog? A swamp. It's a swamp. They lift it out of swamp. It's been chilling there for years and years, obviously 5,000. Um, this particular um, oak was sourced in East Anglia, it obtains its colour from uh, the chemical reaction uh, between the tannin in the wood and the acidic soil in which they're immersed. So basically you have this chemical reaction that's come out with this really dark, rich looking and sounding wood that's been chilling there for 5,000 years, 5,000, not 100. So it goes through a process when they come out whereby they are a quarter sawn and put in a kiln. The kiln is basically a, an oven and it's put in there for three years. Three years. For three years to dry. I feel like I'm preaching or something. <laughs> and so it gets the moisture content to about 10%. So, so this has been um, radio carbon dated to 5,000 years ago. Um, it's available in small quantities. Um, about 15 snare drums are made to, were made to date of this particular wood. It's a very rare piece, hence the price. Also know that this is number eight of 15, so, you know, by that time he's got the process smacked down, you know what I'm saying? It makes you want to play hard. That's why I, the majority of the demos on this video, I just smack the hell out of them. <laughs> <laughs> this one's no exception um, and it can take a beating for something so old pause you know you've got a really really powerful sounding uh, snare rich deep tones obviously you can hear that 5000 bog oak sound stank. stank and you can smack that back beats sorted it's finished really nicely it's got this little chip, chip away kind of finish comes with the pure sound wires and a trick throw off which is a really really uh, top throw off if you don't know about that throw off check it out a very well finished very well made drum just just rich rich like you can smack the hell out of that it's got body you can hear every note it doesn't get lost in translation it does what it needs to do
all in all, we have three amazing snares uh, from a company um, based in England, handmade, handcrafted. Um, the English were well, have long been well known for their uh, craftsmanship with wood, and uh, this is no exception when it comes to this particular kit. Yeah, some really nice examples of uh, reclaimed wood made into amazing top level drums. Thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, please do not hesitate to let us know. Like, subscribe. Also, in the comments, let us know what you think of these snares. Which ones appeal to you most? Um, do you like the sound of old reclaimed wood? Does these, uh, do these appeal to you? Did I play too hard and too loud? Sorry. Tell me. And I'll try and improve it. Later.